What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. Earthmaster here with an update video on this beautiful weekend, Saturday, August 28, 2021 to date, about 1.17 p.m. West Coast time in California. The latest quake is a 2.9 earthquake up around the Alaska region. Uh, quite a bit of activity kicking up on the solar surface. Let's go ahead and check what's going on with the sun currently. Uh, the sun, which uh, obviously is right uh, way up there in the sky, it's it's our it's our our star, producing some significant solar activity, flare activity, from 2860 AR 2860, facing directly towards us. It produced a uh, significant M 4.7 class flare. Uh, more than likely producing a CME, which will be headed directly towards Earth. And it looks as though if current trends continue, a major X flare could be in the offing, according to the article here from spaceweather.com. No doubt uh, it is facing Earth. Looks like uh, over the next, uh, let's see here, over the next couple days or so, we got some uh, potential activity see if I can find that here real quick I lost my oh there we go I lost my train of thought so August 28th through the 30th it looks like we could have storming conditions which uh, is from a CME also from this uh, flare that kind of kicked off today uh, looks like a 65% chance um, tonight and then up to 80% chance, 40% chance of uh, mid latitudes getting in on some Aurora activity on the 30th. So stay tuned for further details on that. The sun is pretty active right now. Quite a bit of sunspots. There's the one that unleashed that M flare. It's directly facing us and it looks pretty angry. Uh, it's pretty bright, pretty significant. And of course, as mentioned, any Significant solar flare, say an X flare or whatnot, would be directly Earth um, facing. Coronal hole up here to the top. A couple other sunspots getting pretty active on the sun currently. Uh, here is the uh, dynamics of the of the uh, sunspots here. There's 2860, one we're kind of watching directly facing Earth. A couple up here too uh, could be growing in the next couple days. We'll keep an eye on that, but man. This thing's looking pretty crazy. So uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast calls for storm conditions uh, heightened over the next couple days. Looks like uh, these guys are indicating a, a potential of 85% C flare kicking off, an M flare 30% and an X flare at five. Uh, so it's, that's actually pretty significant right there. 5% uh, for an X flare. We'll be watching this pretty closely. There is the image of that M4.7 solar flare. Um, solar activity reached moderate levels today with an M4.7. Uh, the complexity of this region will make another M flare possible during the next 12 to 24 hours. The region is now almost directly facing Earth, and any coronal mass ejections produced could be Earth relate uh, Earth directed. All right, cool deal. I kind of like heightened solar activity. We'll see how this affects um, Earth. What do we got in the earthquake department here? Well, no major quakes out here to report. There is some earthquake activity on the deeper level out around the uh, Peru, uh, Peru Chile Trench. Kind of dry out here in California today. Could have to use a drink of water before I got on here, but that's okay. I'm going to make it through it. West Coast, pretty uh, pretty quiet, at least for the 2.5 show. Go down to the all magnitudes here. You can see a little bit of movement further up uh, through the Nevada area on the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevadas. No significant swarming. Still kind of watching this area around the Antelope Valley area. Still seeing some swarming activity there, about 40 earthquakes or so in that region. Southern California kind of kicking off a little, some movement around the Salton Sea area and just off the coast of Southern California, 2.0 out there in the ocean, below the ocean at 18 kilometers. Movement in the Pacific Northwest kind of ramping up once again, 
A little swarm of activity. Well, a couple microquakes southwest of Mount St. Helens. And up here to the north, uh, some deeper movement. Uh, well, there's 2.4 up around Mount Baker, but some deeper movement around the uh, Everett area, Oak Harbor. 52 kilometers below surface for this earthquake in the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Uh, the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire has gone absolutely quiet once again. See this area uh, through Japan, down through the Philippines area, very quiet right now. So uh, be on guard for that area potentially. Some movement around the Indonesia area kicking up. Some deep activity once again. And Hawaii, Kilauea volcano, kind of just kind of it's kind of playing with us. It's having swarms and then it's kind of dying down. Having swarms, kind of dying down. The latest quake, a 1.8, right smack dab in the Kilauea crater, at negative 0.3 kilometers. I don't believe they've updated anything on the, the uh, volcano list here let's go ahead and check this out from the usgs folks still remains at a yellow advisory if that activity continues or ramps up more then i i think strongly that they will upgrade the warning there to um, an orange but right now it's just kind of kind of going back and forth between uh, diminishing activity and activity in general Movement around the South Sandwich Islands kind of kicking up over the last 24 hours. Quite a few fives and some fours kicking off in the southern end of the South Sandwich Trench. Still quite a bit of movement down there, folks. 20 to 30 kilometers. Actually, one up around or down below 50 kilometers. Yellowstone National Park. Not a whole lot going on there. Looks like a little bit of swarming towards Maple Creek area. Small little earthquake. Uh, I was trying to figure out where this earthquake struck at. It looks pretty localized around this region, but it looks deep. And the reason why I can tell is because it showed up on some of these other stations in the northwest corner of the park, but not not sharply like you would normally see a localized earthquake. And then from there, it really didn't show up on these other ones. So uh, I'm thinking it's a, a deeper earthquake in that region, but the USGS not reporting anything. Um, on their map currently, so we'll see if they upgrade or update that soon. Uh, pretty big, pretty uh, big, scary scenario for the folks in Louisiana once again. Not going to go into too much detail. We're still tracking Hurricane Ida currently at 100 mile per hour winds, sustained winds, makes it a category two. We are expecting it to strengthen to category four, 130 mile per hour winds or possibly greater by the time it makes landfall. Look at that. Right there, still showing 130 mile per hour forecasted winds in the uh, Louisiana area. It's a beautiful area. I was down there last year. But uh, man, that type of wind and the storm surge is not looking good, folks. Not looking good, but we will keep an eye on it. You can see the hurricane down there making uh, some significant pro uh, progress in trying to develop an eye. It's uh, absolutely beautiful, let me tell you, but also terrifying at the same time. A lot of evacuations going on throughout Louisiana. You can only imagine what's going on down there. Pretty crazy. Still smoky out here in the west. It never ends. Uh, fires all throughout the west, up in Oregon and Washington. We need some rain here badly. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen for... Uh, hopefully in, the, in a couple months we'll start getting into a wetter pattern, but man... September and October can be uh, pretty dry here as well. All right, folks, stay safe. We will be watching the solar activity very closely. If something does kick off, we will post an update video. In the meantime, enjoy your weekend, everyone. Stay safe and be prepared. Have a good day.